Word Vibes Nuggets. From Message Delivered on Sunday, July 31, entitled, New Creation Realities, The Power of the Word in the Heart, Part 3, ministered by Jermaine Johnson. Ezekiel 36, 26. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. When we get the new heart, we can walk like Jesus. This is made possible via the Holy Spirit living inside of us. It is imperative that our lives are led by the Lord. We have been learning that the new heart is the seed of all emotions. It produces thoughts and imaginations. Are you thinking and imagining wholesome or pure things right now? We may wonder at times how people do certain things. The truth is what is in the heart will always be manifested. With the new heart, our motives are right. We flow with the Holy Spirit. When we think about power, many minds may move to controlling people. Rather, the power we speak of is the Holy Spirit. We can acquire lots of knowledge, but this still can't accomplish what the Holy Spirit can without that new heart. According to Acts 1 verse 8, the power we speak of is the new birth experience. The kingdom came in our hearts to rule and reign. The power, the spirit of truth, according to John 16 verse 13, it is the living God. God himself, the word is God. The word of God is spirit and light a discerner of the heart, so the Holy Spirit supersedes the five senses. God's word is the incorruptible seed, and when the seed is planted in our hearts via the new birth experience, it produces only what God wants. Furthermore, the new heart is given by the Holy Spirit through the blood of Jesus Christ. The word is living and creative. It provides guidance, comfort, conviction. It redeems and judges righteously. Take on the light burden of Jesus Christ today. What the world needs right now are intercessors. The new heart makes this possible. It comes with the ability to really love and be merciful. Matthew 5 verse 7 lets us know in order to receive mercy from God, we first must be merciful. We must put others before ourselves. This is all about treating others the way we want to be treated by God. This is charity, the voluntary giving of love to those who don't necessarily deserve it. Ponder these things. Why would we receive mercy if not to be merciful? The ability to love unconditionally and be merciful to the undeserving comes with the new heart. Hate, pride, envy, the unwillingness to be an intercessor will corrupt the new heart and lead us to hell. 1 John 4 verse 20 to 21 If a man say, I love God and hate his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? And this commandment we have from him, that he who loveth God, love his brother also. I am blessed by the fact that the Holy Spirit is the absolute power. No evil can escape his sight. We received a brand new heart via the new birth experience in order for the works of the Holy Spirit to be unleashed in and through us on the earth changing lives. New heart, permanent change, new life in Christ Jesus.